can't stand you, old jive turkey. Young Thundercat rap stars. Yo, take all my likes on Instagram. All my friends. Go to the same barbecue I get invited to and take all my pork chops and beans. Come on, man. I'm coming to your house, shit. Yeah. I'm also me some fried chicken on your couch, shit. Yeah. <laughs> What up, everybody who talks boxing, comments about boxing, and makes boxing videos. Now, I've been on vacation. Just want to say, you know, thank you for everybody who wished me, you know, a, a, a fun and safe vacation. I had a good time. Um, did have to uh, kind of abandon <laughs> the original plan because Hurricane Matthew came through. But I was safe and still had a great time. Uh, I've been back since Tuesday. Just haven't really had any time to make any videos. And as Mr. Boxing Today 2 says, you miss a, a week in boxing, it's like you miss the whole year. So... I did enjoy my vacation. I listened to some videos when I had the chance. Um, it was very busy, a very busy vacation, so I didn't get to listen to a whole lot of videos. But when I had time, you know, I just checked out what some of y'all was talking about. And apparently there was a whole lot of things that happened while I was on vacation. I mean, the whole thing with Tyson Fury um, getting busted for cocaine that happened right before I went on vacation I didn't want to start talking about something that big uh, without being able to continue on it and I mean he tested positive for, co for cocaine there's all these rumors that he's m not mentally stable I think he just and I think I saw this morning that he's officially vacated his belts he was going to get stripped anyways, apparently, but I think I saw this morning that he officially vacated. So I think that's the best thing that he could do at this time. He needs to clean up his act. If he is battling um, depression, then he needs to get his mind right as well. Um, because you have to be mentally strong in the sport of boxing. So that's how I feel about that. Um... I mean, a lot of people have turned their backs on Fury and they're calling him a disgrace and all this. And I do think it's disgraceful to a point, but it's not performance enhancement drugs, at least not from what I heard. Like I said, I'm not exactly in the loop because of um, I was on vacation. So anyways, uh, I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm just going to move on to the next thing. Um, as far as Floyd Mayweather's statements about Black Lives Matters and all that stuff, I'm really going to stay out of that. I am not a, a African American, so I really feel like it's not my place to even talk about that. Um, you know, when it comes to racism as a whole, I have a playlist. You want to know where I stand? Go watch the playlist. But as far as what Floyd Mayweather said, you know, I'm not going to go into, you know, the Black Lives Matters and all that stuff because I'm not African-American and it's just not my place. I will say this. All lives do matter. That includes black lives. OK, so black lives matter, too. All right. Now. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the last subject real quick. This is just me touching on a bunch of different things that kind of happened while I was on vacation. The last thing I want to talk about is Michael Montero. I never heard of this dude before. Like, all of a sudden, I started seeing these videos of responses to Michael Montero. So I had to, you know, of course, go and take a look for myself to see what all the buzz was, a, was about. So I went, I listened to um, both 
the um, don't support these YTBC trolls and then the response video he did after that and um, so I've listened to both those videos in their entirety and I will say this I think if you listen to the first video it does sound like jealousy it does come off as even though the title of the video is do not support these YTBC trolls it did kind of seem like he was calling the YTBC as a whole trolls but you have to keep in mind when we made these videos that is our state of mind and how we feel about things at that particular point in time and especially if you're somebody like me who doesn't take down notes and keep them in front of you you just go off of everything off the top of your head sometimes there's there could be some misconception and I think that's what happened with Michael Montero I don't think he's jealous and I don't think that he's really calling the whole YTBC as a troll or, or, or as a whole trolls um, I do think that maybe there was a bit of frustration at the time of that first video but he did a very good job of clarifying in a second video the problem is people want to just ignore that follow-up video so I did go ahead and subscribe to Michael Montero he seems to have a decent channel it's like I said I don't think that he's jealous I think it's just that's just the way that he may have come off and it's just a misconception in my opinion that's what I think he is just a misconception of how he was feeling at the time and people are you know taking it as gospel so but um one thing that he did mention is you know he started talking about maybe I should start doing nothing but rant videos and making five six seven eight nine ten videos a week and all this stuff one thing I want to say is in regards to that um we all have our place in this YouTube boxing community, all right? Um, people, some people like listening to multiple videos that are shorter because they can listen to a video, then go listen to somebody else's video, then come back and listen to one of your other videos. I kind of fall into that. I don't really like sitting there for 20, 30 minutes listening to one video now sometimes I do it depends on what I'm doing but for the most part because of how busy I am I prefer to listen to a five you know five six seven eight minute video and then maybe go do something else or watch another video or something then come back to your next video um, but some people like listening to the 20 30 minute videos which I do that from time to time as well when I have more time um, or sometimes if I'm cooking, I want to listen to a longer video because then when the video is over, I don't have to go and switch as much. I can continue listening to this long video. So that's one thing I do want to say is Michael Montero, if you hear this video, I do want you to know that we all kind of have our place. If you're wanting to make one video a week that is, you know, t between 20 to 30 minutes long, that's cool um please don't knock on those who do like i do and make multiple videos a week because that's a whole different crowd that we're appealing to uh, but i don't think he's jealous and he may even know what i'm saying already it's just it didn't come out in that first video which is fine then um as far as uh the full fight review I actually put a, a comment on his video joking around saying I only review the third round of every fight. Um, just, you know, but I was just kidding. Here's the thing. I agree with him wholeheartedly. And I have I, even friends of mine. I'm not going to put their name out there. But even friends of mine who make boxing videos do it. I don't say nothing to them because that's their channel. I'm not going to tell them what to do. But I, I agree wholeheartedly because what is the point of putting full fight review? You're not going to review just part of the fight. Nobody's going to do that. That's just retarded. 
But here we are, 2016. We have after every fight, everybody's videos is so and so versus so and so, full fight review. And there's really no point to do that except for clickbait. But it's like I said, you know, I got friends who do it. I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying I don't really, you know, it's kind of misleading, you you know. And maybe it's because I don't do AdSense, but I mean, it is kind of, I don't know. I, I feel it's, I think it kind of says something about your integrity to a certain extent. But it's like I said, it's not that serious. So if you do it, you want to keep doing it, it's whatever. You know, it ain't that serious. But that's all I got for today. I am going to try to drop a video tomorrow um, a little bit more to my old style. I'm trying to come back with some more Vatos Locos and, and um, you know, some other, some other things I've done in the past that I haven't done in a while. But anyways... To all my subscribers, anybody who watches my videos, or if you just so happen to stumble upon this video, I do thank you. Please leave a comment, and uh, stay blessed. Peace.